Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Ford Explorer. Uh, this is one of what we call our complete guide videos where we're going to cover all the standard equipment plus the different packages and standalone options for the King Ranch trim of the 2023 Ford Explorer. So uh, we have uh, worked our way through completely all of those. So if you like videos like this, you like to stay updated on everything and you want to see all those other different trim videos too, you'll probably like some of our content. Hit that red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell. You'll also get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to the YouTube channel. So as we mentioned, this is because we're going to cover all the standard equipment and the different packages and optional equipment. It's going to be a very long video, so you feel free to use the timestamps down below to move around in the video and get all the information you're looking for. Uh, skip over anything that you maybe you've seen on some of the other videos uh, and just use it as a great resource to kind of get and gather some information and maybe the King Ranch, you know, trim is uh, something you're thinking about wanting to order. Uh, order banks are open up right now. So we are taking orders as well as, of course, they're available to order at your local dealer too. Uh, if you do want to order with us, we do have a YouTube special. We'll have more information about that. It includes free shipping. At the end of the video, we'll go over all that pricing uh, and how we're pricing vehicles out at the end. Uh, check the timestamp down below. Uh, we'll have a timestamp for that as well in the conclusion of the video. So let's go ahead and jump right in talk about some mechanical features first. And we're going to start with mechanical features first. And to do this, we are going to use Ford's Build and Price uh, website over here to kind of use that. Go to Ford.com there, and you can actually click on the SUVs and crossovers and go to the 2023 Ford Explorer, hit Build and Price. And you can actually build this out yourself and kind of figure this out. We're going to click the Start Your Build section there. And this is just basically, it's basically telling us that there are some comply issues, some supply issues and such, uh, you know, the microchips and such that might delay yours to being built so keep that in mind we'll talk more about that later in the video now we have covered the uh, base trim xlt st line the limited the timber line the st the platinum and we've come to the last one and that is the king ranch edition starts at 54 130. click start your build it'll refresh and go in there there we go and we're going to go down here to the powertrain uh, features here first and kind of talk about what's standard here when it comes to powertrain uh you know engine uh transmission everything so the uh, 3.0 liter ecoboost v6 engine with the auto start stop technology is standard the only engine available with the king ranch edition so that is the uh, the biggest uh, and best of the uh, ecoboost engines available for the king ranch edition uh Thank that you. auto start stop means that when you want to stop light stop sign press the vehicle press the brake it's going to shut the vehicle off let go of the brake it's going to turn it back on uh so that's just something you can activate and deactivate in your uh your productivity screen uh, with an A with the circle around it. Also, you're going to get a 10-speed automatic transmission as well that comes standard with this too. You will also get a standard in either rear-wheel drive or you can get the um, the optional intelligent four-wheel drive system. So if you go with that route, it'll have that terrain management system that gives you the different types of modes. So remember what ter uh, whatever terrain you're on, switch that mode to that terrain and it shifts the intelligent four-wheel drive to uh, the system that it needs to handle that. Now, on top of that, you will get a 331 non limit slip rear axle for the uh, rear wheel drive and four wheel drive. So that is an upgraded rear axle than you get with some of the other trims. Uh, front and rear stabilizer bar. You have the independent front and rear suspension giving you a great all around ride. You have electronic or electric parking brake with the auto hold. So auto hold means that, again, when you come to that stoplight stop sign, if you want to hold the brake, press the auto hold button that's on the console and uh, you can take your foot off the brake. Also, you're going to get hill start assist is going to be standard equipment. So that way it'll help you start if you're on that hill transition from the brake to the gas without it drifting back. Also, on your four-wheel drives, you'll get hill descent control as well included with that. So uh, that'll really help out uh, going down those uh, different hills in the terrain if you're going off-road. Uh, you do have electric power assist steering, the e-pass system. So electronically controlled there, so it makes it a little bit easier turning the steering wheel in those uh, parking lots and such. Slower speeds, stiffens up on the highway, even gives you side wind stabilization. So that wind won't push you from side to side when you're on the highway and you're driving through Kansas, which is pretty flat. So... Uh, anyway, so that's all of our mechanical features. I do want to talk about some of the safety features, but these safety features are the same safety features that we've talked about and all the other trim levels. So if you watch that, you can probably skip ahead to the next timestamp, which will go into the exterior features. But if this is the only one watching, here's the safety features if you want to check those out.
Now, I'm talking about some of the safety features. First, talk about the different airbag system that's in the vehicle. So you will have a driver and front passenger dual stage front airbag. That means it deploys a different size airbag. Depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. So you're real close, deploy a uh, smaller airbag. If you're further away, a bigger airbag. It really just depends on how far you are. It does have a, a sensor underneath that seat that they know, the system knows how close you are to the steering wheel to deploy the correct size airbag. Also front seat side uh, impact airbags. So they'll be on the side of those seats on those front seats. Uh, if you have a side collision on the AB pillar, it's gonna go in, uh, it's gonna force expand and protect you from any kind of side collision and that being collapsed into you as well. Also, you do get the driver and front passenger both will get a knee airbag. So for the driver, it's gonna come down from that steering column for the passenger out of that glove box to help protect from any front collision and that engine coming in to you in the cabin. Also safety canopy uh, side curtain airbags with rollover sensor. So basically if the vehicle ends up rolling over, it's gonna pull those uh, coming down beside it to help from breaking glass coming into the vehicle uh, that way as well. So a great airbag system here. Uh, with, they call for likes to call it the personal safety system because uh, you are kind of uh, keeping you protected in uh, those collisions there. Now let's talk about some other ways uh, to protect you if you're driving along. So th there is one way to help uh, hopefully prevent you from having any kind of accident, and that is advanced track with roll stability control and curve control. Uh, the goal, goal behind this is to keep you on your intended path. So maybe you're going to that curve a little too fast. Use a series of brakes around the vehicle and the wheel that it needs to, to help you keep going where you need to go. Whether it be slick outside, maybe you just went in that curve a little too fast and you're trying to slow down and then keep control, it's gonna do that as well as well as that roll stability control too. Now, if you are in an accident, maybe you, uh, you did get in an accident, you're off the side of the road, need help, does have SOS post grass alert system that honks a horns, flashes lights, so people know that to come to your safety. You also do get 911 assist, so that allows you with a Bluetooth enabled phone to call 911 directly. And even we'll ask and respond if you ha are not you know, using that and calling out, it's gonna ask you and maybe even call 911 directly if you, if you don't respond to the system as well. You get pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, which means if you're going following somebody behind you and they're going much slower than you, maybe you have the brakes on and you're not paying attention, talking to someone else or something, it's gonna use as a series of tones that you need to stop. Preload those brakes uh, with that brake support as well. So that way when you hit your brakes, you're gonna stop even faster. So it even puts a, a little thing on your productivity screen as well that, that blinks red, letting you know that there's someone stopped ahead of you. Also does have co post collision braking. So if you do get an accident, maybe you're unconscious, you're not able to put it in park, um, then it's gonna break the vehicle so you don't have any, you know, don't roll off off to the side in, a, in an unsafe situation, uh, worse than you already have with that, that accident there. Also, you do get a lane keeping system. So that lane keeping system is a great system. Part of the Copilot 360 suite of features that you're going to get with this uh, that uses three different uh, functions behind it. One of them is a driver alert feature that's going to alert you if you take your hands off the steering wheel too often, alerts you and lets you know that. Also, you do have a lane keeping aid system or an alert system, or you can use them both. So the uh, the alert system is going to do is it'll allow you to leave your lane. But when you cross over those lines, it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane. Or you can use the aid system, which when you get over to those lines, will try to keep bring you back. It has to see those lines. Some some roads don't always. So this is an assist feature. It's not a autonomous driving by any means to help you keep in your lane but it's a great system. If you use those together, it'll still bring you over, but when you get to the line, it'll vibrate the steering wheel and let you know that you're there. Also, last thing on the safety feature I wanna cover is the security lock passive and a theft system. Basically means the coded key is the only one that can start the vehicle. So it automatically locks the steering column uh, for you uh, so that you can't start the vehicle unless that key is in the vehicle or if the key, if it has an actual key, that it puts it in there and turns that. So it has to have that the correct coded key for that. So really nice on how that all works as well. So that's all the safety features. Let's take, let's now get into the uh, styling exterior look of the base trim and what it looks like. Now we're gonna talk about some of the exterior features. And first we're gonna start with the paint colors. Uh, pretty similar paint colors on the platinum trim if you watch that one. So we do have the gate black metallic that's available. We also do have the carbonized gray metallic. Um, the star white metallic, which is a tri-coat, three coats of paint, to give you that effect there. And that is, a, that's why it's $7.95 there. We do have the, um, let's see what color is it? Stone blue, uh, that is a tinted clear coat. That is why it's an extra $500. I have forged green metallic. 
Uh, we do have the, the new color, Jewel Red Metallic. That is a tinted clear coat as well. That's why it's $500. And we also do have the Ruby Red, a Rapid Red, sorry. That's a tinted clear coat, and that's $500 as well. And then we do have the last color there is the Iconic Silver as well. So we're going to choose that red there uh, for this one or the for the King Ranch edition here. Actually, I'm going to pick the stone blue, I think. Um, I like to pick a different color for every different one uh, so we can kind of see the difference. There you go. Uh, King Ranch one there. Uh, we'll go with that color there. And we're going to actually uh, enlarge this a little bit so that you guys can see a little bit closer. Different things that we're going to talk about. There we go. So uh, looking at this one, this does have active grill shutters just like the others. So that means they're open and close when it needs to. Slower speeds, it'll automatically open it up for you. Faster speeds, it's going to close it. Nothing you have to do on your end. This, the uh, system and the vehicle will do it for you. The grill up here is going to be a different grill dedicated to the King Ranch. You're going to see the chrome bar grill, also the stone gray mesh behind there. Uh, again, a dedicated look. The only way you're going to get that color grill is with this King Ranch edition here. Upper bumper is going to be body colored, just like the others were. The lower part is going to be that molded in black that's more durable. And you're going to see that front skid plate as well is kind of that silver uh, front skid plate too. Gives that nice luxury look there on the front. Uh, there you will have front sensing system as well so those front parking sensors so as you're pulling up into those places it's going to alert you and let you know as you get closer and closer to, to different things that comes in handy parking in your garages and, and parking spaces and such like that you will have configurable daytime running lights so they'll be be able to be configured on for the daytime uh, so if you want to have those configured on you can set it up in your lighting section of your vehicle setting screen you have LED low beam and high beam headlights. So LED is so much brighter. It also has an automatic feature, which means it'll come on automatically when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light, when you have it in the auto setting for your headlight switch. LED signature lighting, that's a light that comes across the top up there. So uh, have that on. That's uh, I think that might be part of your daytime running lights. So it looks real sharp at night. And uh, when you see people coming along, uh, looks pretty sharp. Also LED fog lights down in here as well. So again, a full LED is up here for you. You also get the wiper activated headlights, which means when you have the wipers on, the headlights will be on as well. And you do have the rain sensing wipers. So if it starts to rain on you, you have your wiper on one of those intermittent settings, automatically turn the wipers on. As it rains faster, it's going to wipe them faster. Auto high beams as well. So just like your automatic headlights will have auto high beams, they'll turn those when it's really dark outside, turn those high beams on. Car approaches you in the city lights, it's going to turn them off. That is, again is a feature you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle setting screen. You will have acoustic laminated windows uh, for this front windows up here as well as the windshield. So that helps protect it. Piece of uh, plastic in between that. So that way if something comes through and hits that, um, then it's going to keep that intact. Also, it's going to be quieter as well. Uh, 360 degree camera. So there'll be a camera on the front of the Ford emblem, as well as underneath each of the mirrors, one in the back. That way you can be able to see completely around you in a split screen view. So one side will be bird's eye view. So you can see around the vehicle. The other one's going to be your backup camera. But if you're in front and, uh, and drive, you can hit the camera button and you'll see the front camera on that section instead. So pretty cool on how that works. Now for the wheels up here, 20 inch, 10 spoke aluminum wheel with the King Ranch Center logo in the middle there. You will have all season tires come standard equipment, individual tire pressure monitoring system for those. You will have standard duty front and rear brake calipers, uh, four wheel disc brakes with ABS as well. And you are going to get that molded in black that you're seeing down here in the lower part coming up and over and then around uh, uh, on the bottom down here and around the, uh, the willet moldings around there. So that, that kind of helps protect it from rocks and such like that it might get kicked up. Sand from the vehicle has Explorer etched in there and you'll notice the chrome accent as well right there. You also see that uh, up here you're going to have a kind of a molded in uh, black underneath with a chrome accent on those uh, side rails on the roof as well. So it looks real sharp there. Uh, black belt line molding as well on there. So you will have body color door handles with a chrome accent on those. And on the mirrors itself, you're going to have the black mirror cap at the top up there with that molded in black underneath there. Oh, forgot to mention, uh, do you have this King Ranch logo on the door? About the only trim that you're going to see any kind of logo on the door is this King Ranch edition, which is really special for the vehicle. Uh, for the mirrors itself, you will have the power folding with auto fold feature. It means when you lock the vehicle, it's going to fold those mirrors in towards the glass. Power and heated feature on the mirror, can, mirror itself. Security approach lamp that's going to light the ground beside the vehicle. Some people like to call it the puddle lamp. 
LED turn signal as well. Kind of hard to see there, but right there, you're going to see that it's going to be a LED turn signal. So when you have the turn signal on, it's going to flash so people from the side. If those stop signs are going to be able to see that if they're not paying attention to the front ones. And you also have driver side view auto dimming mirror as well. And you're going to have, uh, which means it's going to dim that mirror when those cars come past you on, with those bright lights at night. It's going to make a dim that uh, driver side view mirror over there. And you're going to get memory for those mirrors uh, that goes along with some other features we'll talk about here in just a little bit. So pretty cool and how that, that all works. I'm going to actually move this angle just a little bit. So we talk about the rest. Enlarge it back up, just, uh, back up so you can see it. Now this does have uh, the EC Fuel Kappa's filler door. So that's, uh, you just press that in, uh, the door in, and no cap to worry about leaving behind, getting your hands dirty or anything. Just put the nozzle in there, fill it up, shut the door when you're done. There's a double door system in there. So the second door does have two latches that have to be released at the same time. The nozzles at the pump will be the correct size, but if you use like a gas can or something, if you run out of gas, that will not be. So you'll need to use a funnel that Ford provides with the vehicle. Um, you also get child safety locks in these rear doors, so you can lock those out so the kids don't open those when you don't want them to. Um, your fuel tank is a 20.2 gallon fuel tank that comes with the vehicle as well. And you also do get perimeter alarm. That allows you when you lock the vehicle and walk away, it's going to uh, put a perimeter alarm on there. Somebody breaks the glass, tries to get inside. Um, there's an intrusion sensor. It'll set that alarm off and uh, honks the horns, flashes the lights, lets people know someone's trying to mess with your vehicle. Also, there's inclination sensors. So if they try to jack those up, take those really nice 20 inch uh, chrome wheels, it's gonna set the, the, the alarm off as well, honk on those horns and flash on the lights. Here in the back, we'll have body colored rear spoiler back here with the center high mounted stoplight. That's what I like to call the third brake light up there. Center, uh, these little pieces over here are gonna be a high gloss black piece. Rear defrost with rear wiper and a rear washer back here to help keep that clear and clean. You will have LED tail lights back here. So LED headlights, tail lights, fog lights, low beam, high beam, and signature lighting, all LEDs for you here. On the back of the lift gate, chrome piece back here, uh, applique is what they call that with Explorer etched in there, Ford logo above that. Also the King Ranch logo on the back. So you're gonna see that on the side and the back. So three different places on the outside. Also body color or the molded in black bumper back here with the silver skid plate on the back gives it a unique style and look with the reflectors on those bumpers. Also speaking of that, the bumper pad up here will be uh, molded in black with a nice chrome piece accent on it right there too. And then you will have the dual exhaust chrome tips here for you. So uh, that way it has a nice look and uh, helps that 3.0 um, liter engine breathe a little bit better as well. You have a reverse sensing on that bumper. So as you're backing up, it's gonna alert you if you get too close to anything, just like the front one, rear view camera as well. And you're gonna get reverse brake assist on the King Ranch edition. So when you're backing up, if you're, you know, it's gonna alert you and let you know, hey, there's someone behind you. But if you're not paying attention, about to run some, somebody over or maybe a bike or something like that, it's gonna break the vehicle, uh, which is nice uh, to have there. Um, Let's see, make sure I got everything here. Uh, it does say that bumper pad is gonna be a Java color. Uh, so that's gonna go along with the interior color theme uh, here as we talk about that. Um, also, uh, you will have trailer sway control as well. It's standard equipment, mini spare inside as well for the vehicle. Um, and you're gonna get the power lift gate that's gonna be hands-free foot activated. So you're gonna just be able to put your foot underneath and it's gonna uh, power it up. Also, you can get the user remote or the button underneath if you wanna use the power feature. I will tell you right now, we're seeing a lot of vehicles on starting in 23 where they're taking off the hands-free uh, foot activated part of the lift gate. So that might be deleted off your order. There's an option in the order guide for that. Uh, we'll talk more about that when we get to optional equipment, but just want to make you aware of that. You will have cargo net hooks inside, and you'll even have a, a kind of a, a bottom to that. There's a little a floor that goes in above that, the cargo area. There's some, uh, you can pull that off, store things in there, even has dividers and some things like that. Uh, so you can kind of divide that cargo in there. So nice cargo management system in a sense. Rear cargo area light inside as well, and a PowerPoint in the back, uh, back there as well. So... Those are all our exterior features. Quite a few features we talked about already. Now, let me take a break just for a second and let's move into the interior. All right, so as we move to the interior here, let's first talk about the interior environment. It's very dedicated to the King Ranch here. 
uh, cause you will get that Java interior, which is that kind of that darker interior here, dark brown, I should say. Uh, you will get that Mesa leather wrapped rollovers on the doors in the instrument panel. So here on the doors at the top, it's gonna be leather wrapped there as well as on the instrument panel up here will be also leather wrapped on that dash up there. So real nice. And they're calling that that Mesa leather <clears throat> finish for that. Your instrument panel itself, we'll get the real wood appliques across here. So come across on both sides of the steering wheel for the driver, as well as across the dash is going to be the a real wood applique there. So real nice and uh, finished and dedicated to that. Sat silver twilight is what they're calling that on the console itself here. You're going to see that on uh, some spots here on the instrument panels along with, uh, along with a high gloss black color finish to that in the knobs and such right there. Satin silver on the steering wheel, as you can see with the real wood insert in there and then also that mess that leather wrapped as well on the steering wheel so real nice and how that all looks uh gives it a nice unique look uh, to the vehicle the, your center console as well is going to have that same finish with that w there on there too so that looks pretty cool there now moving around let's go back over here so you can kind of see the seats and everything uh, you will see these uh well before we get into that door sill plates in here that are going to be that the uh, java look to it the front ones will have a bright insert on them as well uh, illuminated entry so you can be able to see as you're getting in lights up here as well as does have the ambient lighting lights up the footwells and the uh, media hub area too uh, floor mats are going to be uh, black carpet but you're going to see that nice finish around the outside edge i actually can see it in this image here with the king ranch logos on there as well branded for the vehicle for those floor mats um, the seats del rio leather seating surfaces for all rows all three rows there you will have first and second rows will have the mesa nora's uh seat color and the lasso uh perforated inserts as well so let me see if i can get a good uh, close-up of that you can kind of see those you can kind of see that 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 perforations and how that, that design there pretty cool on the center you'll see that same logo on the back of those uh you can kind of see it right here pretty cool on how that looks the front captain's chairs up here with the flow through console there 10-way power driver seat uh with the memory uh for the seat and uh, also something else that's memory we'll tell you about in a second so now we've talked about the mirrors and the seat being memory eight-way power passenger seat as well so let's talk about the different ways you're going to go now on the the, the power driver seat uh eight-way go forward and back with the seat this they could they recline forward and back as well the seat can go up and down as well as power recline those so that's your eight-way for the passenger the extra two ways for your driver that seat cushion on the front will go up and down as well so that's all the different positions heat and ventilated seats up here for the driver and front passenger Four-way manual adjustment for the headrest means to go up and down, forward, and uh, it'll ratchet to the back. Uh, second row captains uh, with the armrest. Uh, easy entry for that. That means you pull that lever, that seat back goes down, and you pull it again, and it goes up against that back seat. Uh, you will also get second row heated seats as well back here. And you will get second row sun blinds too. So you can uh, pull those up on those windows to help protect it from the, the, um, that, the sun coming in the side. Uh, second row uh, or third row, I should say, 50-50 uh, split bench seat back. There's seats two in the back. Power fold for those seats. So individually, can fold back, uh, uh, fold down completely. You can stow them to the to the floor, uh, which makes it easy. And you can use one or both or one uh, like left and right or both of them together. Get my words right. Sorry. You do have the latch system, the lower anchors and tethers for children. Then where you can fasten those front and rear facing car seats into those second row or third row seats if you want to. Uh, rear auxiliary controls as well, so you can be able to control the climate from back there. Now, I will tell you this, and we'll talk about this when we get the optional equipment, but the rear climate controls and the rear heated seat controls may be taken off of the, the order. Um, it is possible uh, that happened last year and may happen again this year. It depends on park constraints and chip issues that they have. Uh, USB ports, USB type A and C, and an outlet on the back of that console too for those in the rear seat. Um, for the windows, this have power windows uh, for all four windows. Of course, the front row will have one touch up and down feature, which means you just hard press that switch down, feel it click, you let go, and it's going to roll the windows down. Coming up, you just pull up, you'll feel that, that little click, then you just let go, and it's going to uh, roll them on up. Power door locks as well, including on auto unlock and lock. Uh, the steering wheel is heated, as we mentioned already. The Mesa Del Rio leather 
uh, wrapped with the stitching on it. So very dedicated to the King Ranch, real wood on there. You're going to have your redundant audio controls there, as well as controls for the productivity screen, which is a nice 12.3 inch digital productivity screen. You can see that through the steering wheel there. Also, we'll have the cruise control uh, are going to be right there. So we'll talk about more of what cruise controls you get. Uh, because it is an upgraded uh, cruise control as part of this package that's included in the King Ranch Edition. Um, <clears throat> all right, moving on. We do have push button start located right back here underneath the vent right there for your climate control, tri zone. So driving front passenger have two different temperatures as well as those in the rear. So three different zones. BO audio sound system with 12 speakers, including a subwoofer and HD radio. Also get Sirius XM satellite radio is included. Sync 3 with 8-inch touchscreen also is included. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Ford Pass Connect, which allows you to connect your vehicle to the Ford Pass app. Free app you download, connect that vehicle up. You can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere. You can remote start your vehicle from anywhere, even schedule remote start times. See how much fuel uh, tire pressure you have on each of your tires, fuel that you have in the vehicle, even where it's located all through that app. And uh, now you do have, uh, let's go in here and use this 360 view for a second. Up here in the mirror, you do have auto dimming rear view mirror, which means it's going to automatically dim for nighttime. So the car is coming out behind you with those bright lights. You don't have to worry about those. Map lights up here. You can't really see it here, but there is an overhead console uh, bin in there. Also, you would they get visors here with illuminated vanity mirrors on them as well. And you can see their universal garage door openers. Three different buttons there for transmitters uh, to program those so you don't have to have those. Um, on your visors there, which is pretty cool to have. Now down in here, this is the media hub area. There's a little door there. You just press that and it opens up so you can get inside. There's gonna be a PowerPoint in there, USB type A and C port, as well as a wireless charging pad down in there. Rotary right dial uh, gear shift there, as well as your parking brake and auto hold switches there. In between there, if you have four wheel drive, will be the train management switch. It'll be right behind those, those brake controls there. And before you get the console and then your padded console as well, Leather wrapped, as we mentioned, should be a PowerPoint inside the console as well there for you. Uh, so that's all. Those are all standard features, but also you get a standard features, the Copilot 360 Assist Plus package that is included uh, with uh, with this. So let's talk about that package real quick before, before we go to the optional packages. And we're going to talk about the Ford Copilot 360 Assist Plus package. And this package is available as optional equipment on the XLT and the ST models but is standard on your ST line, your Timberline, Limited, King Ranch, and Platinum models. So available in a lot of different trims here. Um, now this, this one is called, it's including the intelligent adaptive cruise control with stop and go and lane centering. So let me talk about those individually. So adaptive cruise part of that is gonna take that cruise control to the next level. And so you can have that adaptive cruise set. So if you come up behind somebody, it'll slow you down to go their speed. So you don't have to use the brake and you don't uh, come up behind them. Uh, if you pass them and it's safe to resume, it's gonna speed you back up to your speed unless there's somebody else up there again. Now also we'll bring you to complete stop. Stop and go means it'll bring you to a stop without you pressing the brake. In those types of situations, if they take off and you can, it'll start resuming, keeping that distance behind them until you can pass them and you can speed back up. Also, lane centering will keep you in the center of your lane. A little bit different than your lane keeping, which is actually can be activated with your cruise or not. The lane centering is activated with your cruise control if you select it in your cruise control settings. And it'll help keep you in the center lane. So it will not let you get over to the lines. Its goal is to keep you in the center of your lane. And the intelligent part of this is also going to be able to recognize the speed signs. So if uh, you are going along, let's say you can keep, and you can even put in the tolerance. I like to go five over. So let's say we're in a 70 mile an hour zone. My tolerance is set at, at five over. I'm going 75 miles an hour. If that speed sign changes to 60 in a construction area or something like that, it's going to slow you down to go 65 because I have mine set at a tolerance of five miles an hour over. So that's a great system. It uh, really kind of helps with getting any kind of speeding tickets that you maybe don't realize the speed zone changed on you the speed traps that kind of thing this will help out with that also evasive steering assist uh, basically means if you're not able to stop in time and you need to avoid by steering it's going to assist in the steering around that it e makes it easier to steer around 
uh, the vehicle. Also, you get the voice activated navigation system. That's the on-screen navigation system with, um, I believe this in here is gonna give you several months, uh, three years of service, I believe with that. Um, comes with the traffic and travel link as well with that system. So that's a, a Copilot 360 Assist package is again, available on the XLT and ST line and standard on, or uh, I should say available on the, the XLT and ST and standard on the ST line, Timberline, Limited, King Ranch, and Platinum models. So now we're gonna talk about some different optional packages. As we can, as we just got done talking about that Ford Copilot 360 Assist Plus package is standard equipment on the King Ranch, but there's five other packages, as you can see, that are optional for you. And I actually have recorded clips on all, all five of these already in previous uh, trim levels. So let's go ahead and play those back to back. First, we're gonna talk about the technology package, then the premium technology package, and then we'll get into the tow package, the cargo management uh, system down here, cargo area management system, and then the smokers package last before we move into the uh, standalone options. So I'll play those clips back to back to back to back to back <laughs> right now. So check those out. Uh, the pretty cool features as part of those different packages uh, that you can get as optional equipment. All right, let's go ahead and talk about, I decided to want to go ahead and record these because uh, uh, of some of the wording I use on the other one. I don't want you to get confused. So first, let's talk about the premium technology package. And, or the, I'm sorry, I want to talk about the technology package first. Techno technology package is $1,000. It is available on the, um, the King Ranch in the Platinum Edition. So it's available on both of those, even the Platinum, even if you go with the 600 EcoBoost or the Hybrid um, either one, uh, it's available on that as well as with the King Ranch. So what's going to be included in this is this is where you're going to get the different screen. 10.1 inch LCD uh, portrait style screen in the center stack. Uh, that's going to give you all the same kind of the same functionality as the other one. But now you're getting that that portrait style screen there. Also upgrades with two more speakers. Bino out audio sound system. Bang & Olufsen with 14 speakers, including a subwoofer. So that's getting an upgrade. So a lot of people would rather have that 10 inch screen first the other so you have this option with this package to go with either one of those two screens and when you go with this one you gain two more speakers as well so that package again is available on the king ranch and the platinum uh on platinum with the 600 or 601a equipment group now let's talk about the premium technology package and that one's that one's about 300 dollars more and it's it's similar in the, the features and again this one is available on the platinum both of the different equipment groups as well as it's available in the king ranch edition so this one again is just like the other one's going to give you the 10 inch 10.1 inch uh, portrait style screen here also gives you the Bino audio sound system with 14 speakers including a subwoofer even though it doesn't mention it there also you're going to get the multi-contoured seats with active motion that's your massaging seat features for the front only seats so this is uh so you go up to the premium package if you want the massaging seats on your vehicle so the reason they made this two different packages uh this year was because last year they had some part issues with the multi-contoured seats so they they make it now they, they made two different packages so if they do have that problem with constraints and parts and being able to get the multi-contoured seats then that way you'll be able to select over to the other package uh if you still want to get yours produced for uh the vehicle scheduled for production so uh so this package again is available on the platinum on either different equipment groups and available in the king ranch let's talk about the class 4 trailer tow package and this is available on the base trim xlt st line limited king ranch and platinum models it's standard on the st and timberline models here so pretty much available on all of the different trims here for you and so this package here is going to allow you to be able to pull that trailer so you're going to get a class 4 trailer tow hitch so it's going to be that two inch uh, size hitch for you it's going to also come with wiring i believe four pin wiring that's going to go along with that and you already get trailer sway control as uh, standard equipment with this but this uh this package includes a couple different features the wiring and the hitch so that you can go ahead and pull that trailer if you need to uh, i'm not sure you have to double check the tow rating on that um, so, uh, cause it depends on which motor you have, it's going to have different towing capabilities there for you. So you want to make sure if you have a trailer, you check and see what, uh, what expedition you're, or what Explorer you're looking for, what the maximum tow is going to be for, uh, for that. So you know if that's going to pull your trailer or not. So again, trailer tow package is available as standard equipment or as a, as a package available on the Explorer. Now let's talk about the cargo area management system. Now this, this one is available on all Explorer models. 
um, uh, but it's standard on the Timberline model. So this uh, this package here uh, is going to include the cargo netting. Uh, so we really don't see an image of that. Cargo net actually allows you to be able to put like different things in it, so that way it won't move around in there. So you use the hooks up in here and the loops to be able to put, kind of position that in there, so you can put things in there that won't move around or roll around for you. Also, you get a cargo well rubber mat. So that's going to go down below there, so that way you can go ahead and you know put put that in there and cover it up. So and then you have a reversible load floor as well so um, now you'll notice too uh, these systems you already come standard equipment you can pull the little there's a, a, a floor there that comes up and you can put things down in there with the dividers in there as well so um, this is a, a real nice to, way to be able to if you put a lot of things in there you know the rubber mat in there the reversible uh, a load floor means that one side it's carpeted but on the other side it's going to be more all weather so you can turn that over so uh, for that so uh, again this is available uh, on all the different trim levels and standard on the Timberline. Now, a package that Ford is putting in here with the package and some trims that puts it in as standalone options. And usually a package means it's more than one feature. So this is available, the Smokers Pack is available on any of your Explorer models. And you're getting two things in this. You're getting a little cup here that you can put in the con in the cup holder. Uh, that allows you to put ash, uh, if your ashes from cigarettes in there, or if you want to use it as a tray uh, coin holder, you can do that as well. Also, then it comes with this lighter that will go in that PowerPoint uh, so you can, you know, for, of course, light those cigarettes and such for you. So this is a package comes with those two items for $75 and is available on all your Explorer models. Now let's talk about standalone options here. And of course, these are, you know, not within a package of more of one feature. They're one feature that's available to add to your order. Some of these are Ford accessories that I might recommend as we go through these that you wait and get those done later. And uh, we'll go through those and, and differentiate those when it's time. Some of these are factory installed options that if you want those, you want to make sure you put it on your order uh, so they get put on it. Otherwise, it would be real difficult to get mo a lot of those factory options. The first one is the splash guards. Now, this is a Ford accessories option. Um, and this one here, it, it would be something that would be it would come to the dealership. And the dealership would install it for you so that's why because of that i kind of recommend you almost kind of try to do those afterwards uh, the difference is is that at 180 um the dealership has to install it within that cost you are comfortable putting them on yourself order them later if not go ahead and put them on there it shouldn't cost a, a delay and getting scheduled because they can be put on by the dealership now next one is the roof rack crossbars so this is uh this is a ford accessories option uh, but because there's not really much of an install, in fact, you could put them on yourself. The, the crossbars go across the, from the side rails. So they go on top of it. So if you're going to put any kind of ski rack, bike rack, luggage, uh, cargo uh, tray or cargo uh, rack up there, you would need these on there uh, so it could, it could connect to. Uh, so 350. Um, and again, you can get the two Ford accessories if you decide you want to get it later. Uh, but also shouldn't hold up your build. It is also a dealer installed option as well. Um, twin panel moonroof. Uh, now, this is something that is a factory installed option. You'd want to put that on your order. Twin panel moonroof with a power sunshade up here. Um, and that is something you'd want to get uh, from the factory if you're wanting to put that on your build. Uh, so, good thing to add there. Shouldn't delay. No uh, major notes here to that as well. And we do have the, um, uh, the wheel lock kit. Now, if you want to protect those nice 20 inch wheels, you can get this. This is also a dealer installed option. It'll come to the dealership. Dealership will install it for you. Or you could get it through Ford Accessories and install it yourself. I don't think it hasn't been holding up builds uh, from what I understand uh, so far, uh, but it could be done. You could get it later if you want to. Engine block heater. This is a factory option. So you will want to get it from the factory. It will uh, allow you to plug it in so that you can keep that engine block warm during the winter time, overnight, and that kind of thing. So it starts up even uh, really easy in the next morning. Now, a lot of these are already checked. That means they're already included as standard equipment, as we talked about. Now this in here with no price on it, this Bliss with cross traffic alert, same as the one above, except this one also includes the trailer coverage. So to get this to cover the trailer, you have to have the tow package. Uh, so that's why it's not not checked. If we had the tow package checked, that would be checked as well. So you'll get uh, it'll cover the 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 blind spot of the trailer as well when you get the tow when the, you get the trailer tow package. Uh, moving on down, we do have two uh, uh, configurations for the middle row. Standard equipment is the bucket seats, as you can see with the uh, flow through uh, there. If you want, you can go with this other option, which is the 35, 30, 35 bench seat. Um, so you're going to have that configuration. So you can seat three in the middle. Armrest comes out of the middle backrest. Uh, so you still would have that. 
Um, and then these uh, seats do still slide individual, still have the easy entry, uh, so you can pull the lever to get into the back, uh, but we'll just give you that extra bent seat back there. So that's an option for you. Cargo mat. Uh, so if you want this cargo mat here, this is a, a cargo mat is a factory installed uh, or is a, uh, you can get through Ford Accessories. Sorry, I was looking through this other. Uh, you can get this uh, if you want through Ford Accessories. It's not really an install in a sense. You just put it in there when you need it. Um, so this here, you can get through Ford Accessories or you can get through, through the dealer. It is a, um, it is showing as a dealer installed option. So if you do get it, uh, probably ship to the dealership ahead of time. Same with uh, these other two right here, roadside assistance kit and first aid kits. Both of these I would recommend just hold off Get it through Ford Accessories, and this shouldn't be much of a cost to have it shipped to your door uh, for either one of these. Um, but I would the more of these options you put on there, the more likely one of them might be out of stock, and then your vehicle doesn't get selected for scheduling. And you'd hate for that to happen yeah. because of something you can get later, right? And so that's why I recommend these two, as well as there's some others we'll talk about that I recommend you do the same thing. Now, we do have the floor liners, uh, the first and second row. So if you want the all-weather mats, uh, here uh, for the first and second row, uh, you go with this package here. Uh, it's $200. You're going to get the carpet mats regardless because those are custom mats uh, with the King Ranch logos. So they will always give you those luxury mats um, and then require this. Some of the trims will give you an option to not have the mats, but not on the King Ranch because those are custom mats. You do have these two cargo organizers, which they still, even on this one, the images are incorrect. They're, the images are flop between these two. This is a standard organizer that gives you three compartments, not four, um, for you. And uh, that is available through Ford Accessories. There's no install here for this. You just put it in the vehicle. And then there's a larger one. As you can see, those are kind of backwards on those images that contains four compartments instead of three. So... I uh, really need to email Ford and let them know that that's, those are incorrect. But uh, moving on down, we do have this. Uh, let me check those off real quick first. Uh, then moving down, we do have the auto start stop removal. So if they do have start having some chip issues and such, they may start removing different things. And they usually start with the auto start stop removal because a lot of people don't like it anyway. And so what that would give you is that would remove the auto start stop. Now, that's what we talked about where if you come up to the stoplight, stop sign, press the brake, it's going to shut the vehicle off. I go with the brake, it turns it back on. It would remove that uh, that there so your vehicle wouldn't do that. Uh, they removed it on my Expedition last year. They're starting to remove it on other ones for this model year as well. That is a possible option that they'll do to your vehicle. Now, we do have these floor liners, a couple different options here for the third row. So we mentioned it earlier. If you wanted the floor liners, it's the first and second row. We didn't mention the third row because this is the option you'd want. There's one, whether you go with the bench seats or the second one is for the captains. And that's going to give you the all-weather mat for the footwells for the third row seat. That's where you would add that option. So that's an, an extra cost there for that. Uh, then moving down, we do have, this is another Ford Accessory website item. I just wait and get later. And that's this cooler bag. So these, these are little things that, you know, again, the more these little items you put on there, if one of them's out, they'll hold yours up from getting scheduled. So again, that's something else I would get later. The, the real auxiliary control credit, as I mentioned earlier, if they ha start having parts issues, they may tell you they may tell you that yours are going to come without the rear climate controls and the rear heated seat controls, but they'll give you a credit for both of those, uh, and that's that credit that option uh, for dealers to put that on there so that they'll get selected for scheduling. So that is a possibility for you. Um, and then down here, you do have the dual headrest rear seat entertainment system. That's a factory installed accessory now. Uh, so it's going to give you, uh, they're going to basically replace those front headrest with a DVD player headrest. Uh, that means they would only be able to go up and down, not forward and back, by the way. And also give you headphones for each of those. You can put DVDs in them. You can plug in different audios, uh, like thumb drives and such with uh, movies on them. Plug in different gaming systems and that kind of stuff. So pretty cool. But you can add that as an option if you want. I uh, haven't heard that holding up because a lot of people have been forgoing getting that on their vehicle. And so it hasn't been holding up builds too much. And then we do have the 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot credit. Again, because of chip issues, uh, they would remove the Wi-Fi hotspot. So I didn't mention it earlier because I always forget to mention it, first of all. But um, the Wi-Fi hotspot allows you, because of that connectivity and that Ford Pass modem uh, that you have in the vehicle, to be able to, uh, for a fee pay a monthly fee and have Wi-Fi hotspot through AT&T for your vehicle. So people can connect their 
you know, tablets and such to the Wi-Fi in the, the to the vehicle so that then they could connect and get onto internet, right? Um, this here would basically mean that you don't have that access. Still have all the functionality of Ford Pass Connect, all those different features we talked about earlier. You just would not be able to connect a, a, a device that needs Wi-Fi to the vehicle. They would have to connect to a different device that does have Wi-Fi uh, in that case. So that is something else that they've been removing from vehicles. And then uh, the hands-free uh, lift gate, it is on the order guide, option 96X, that may need to be deleted. Again, we'll just see how things go. It's, it's on the order guide because they wanna be able to put it on there in case they have any issues with the chips so that they can continue to be building vehicles without having to then change the order guide, put it on there before they can remove it. This makes it easy for them to be able to do that uh, as we go along. And then this in here is part of that those technology package we mentioned earlier uh, right there. Now, down here, accessories. These are not uh, able to order on your order. These are strictly accessories options. I'm not, I don't know why Ford puts these on here. They've been starting to remove it on some of them, but it's confusing a lot of customers when we get in builds with some of these accessories and we're like, we cannot add those from the factory. They won't let us. Those are only available through Ford Accessories website. I think it's just giving you that option and knowing what's available for you um, but not available to put on your order from the factory now the only other thing that i want to mention is the front license plate bracket states require front license plate it is a no charge uh is no charge or that's going to be standard equipment i should say but in states like kansas where the front license plate is not required it's optional equipment uh, but you can put it on there it's still no charge option for you and the dealership would install it either way so uh, now to remember if you're ordering from a dealership like let's say you're out of state require front license plate and you're ordering from us you want to make sure to let us know so that we can put that on your order uh, otherwise we'll have to pay for the license plate and we'll probably in and charge an install fee uh, so just make sure you do that so that way you're not charged any extra on your build that way so again that's all of our uh, optional equipment i do want to do some conclusion and, and summary here and talk about our pricing on these uh, so let's go ahead and do that so in conclusion, I do want to go through this summary section here. So all these are actually little tabs that you can click on and go through and, and pick if you want to. And summary is actually one also that kicks you down. It just kept, keeps bringing you down the page here for you. Now, the summary section kind of breaks through what we added. We added the stone blue, which was a tinted clear coat. That's why you see the 495 there. Um, and then we uh, didn't really add anything else on the build. Uh, so you can kind of see that breakdown of things added. And then down here, you see the base MSRP price, and we see the option prices and accessories. Accessories of that section I mentioned, which you can't order, so just keep that in mind. And then you get the destination charge. It's uh, $14.95. That is a fee you will have to pay. That is getting the vehicle from the factory, using the rail and the different carriers to get it from the factory to the dealership. So um, Ford has to pay for that, so they will kick that price on down to you. So they'll go ahead and charge you that fee as well. Um, so that's how that's done. Now, this acquisition fee, though, the $645, that is for leases. So if you click on the calculator, <clears throat> excuse me, go to finance, and you'll notice it's gone now. So that's how that'll work. So if you plan to finance and not lease, uh, go ahead and do that, and you're going to see that price difference. Now, you can also use this payment calculator to configure. I don't want to put any money down. Maybe you don't have a trade-in. Maybe instead you want to go 72 months, and mm, I can get better in 6.9. I can get five percent through my local bank you can uh, do that you can customize and see what that looks like uh, for that and changes that monthly payment for you save and close will close it out there if you move on up to the section this top of the summary section right here there's a print button and a share button so hit that print button you can print that take that into your local dealership and say this is how i'd like to order my explorer and they can take that sheet and they can order straight from that Gives, it's real nice and easy to do. You can also click the share button and then you can copy this uh, link here and email that to a dealership. So if you're working with us, we do this uh, on a lot of Maverick orders and some other orders. Uh, you can just send that to us and we can order the vehicle with you. Sit, you know, Email you back a copy of the order sheet. Make sure you verify that it's all good and everything. And then have you sign that as well as a, a buyer's order that we can send to you. So we even do a lot of things you know, via you know, DocuSign and such. So very easy to do if you're wanting to do that. That's the way you'd want to kind of send that to your uh, non-local dealer if you want to do that. So now speaking of that, let's talk about our uh, pricing. If you do want to order through us, I do say order through your local dealer. Uh, you know, it's always good to stay local if you can. So order through your local dealership. Uh, hopefully, uh, do ask them to make sure they know how price protection works and how to lock in any kind of incentives and such. 
uh, because that's very important that they know how to do that because some dealerships don't and that could save you a lot of money when prices increase as we've been seeing in uh, many of these years last couple of years we've been seeing prices go up now when ford's going to do is they're going to reimburse the dealer if the person that orders a vehicle buys a vehicle when it comes in they'll reimburse what it was when they originally ordered the price and that's called price protection by ford and they'll reimburse the dealership so not all dealerships know how that works so make sure your dealership knows how to do that and then also the late the rate lock so you can uh, lock in the rates that are present at the time you order the vehicle or you can look and see if they're better when it comes in so that is called the protect date from the date you ordered or the sale date from the date it comes in so now for an example i'll go back to the screenshot uh if, as we if we move on up here you can see up there see right now lock in 3.9 percent apr on select 23 vehicles when you custom order so right now they're actually running a special rate so when you order from that local dealer, you can lock that rate in if you want to and they'll, and know how to honor that. So we know how to do that here at Law MacArthur. So make sure your dealership knows uh, price protection, how to lock in rates for you. And uh, and they know a little bit about constraints. So if any kind of constraints, like we mentioned already, there's situations where we have to take the power lift gate, delete that off, or the order won't be selected for scheduling. It'll just sit there and not schedule, not schedule, not schedule, where a dealership is proactive, looks at our orders and said, this is why it's not being ordered. Let's call our customers and let's let them know so they can get theirs as fast as possible. So if you like to order with us, we know how to do all those things. So uh, we are doing MSRP pricing. We have a $500 dealer fee, nothing else we add to our vehicles. And we have a special offer. So uh, our offer here is if you want to uh, finance with us at standard rates, we'll give you up to $1,000 of the shipping costs. That is not in, available and compatible with the lower interest rates. Just so you know that it's one offer or another. So it's a, a financing offer that's available. Uh, if you want to, instead of going with the 3.9 uh, APR or something like that, you want to do this instead, we'll do up to $1,000 of shipping. But if you'd like to lock that in, we can do that for you. Just fly in, uh, pay for your flight in, and we can pick you up at the airport, and then you can just drive it home. So, And so that might th you might say, well, why? Should I order from you then instead of my local dealer? Great question. Here at Law MacArthur, again, we know how to do price protection. We know how to price lock. And we know how to make sure your vehicle gets ordered as quickly and gets shipped and built as quickly as possible. So if you're wanting to work with a dealership that's proactive and is watching their orders and can make sure you get your order just as quick as possible, Law MacArthur can help you out. And you can feel confident you're going to be able to do that with us if you want to do that. So if you do, don't forget to reach out to us. We can help you out with that order. 23 order guides or 23 order banks are open right now and are available. So hopefully you did enjoy this video or watch one of our others. If you did, smash that like button. I really appreciate it. If you like videos like this, hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell. You'll also get notified next time another video upload to YouTube channel. Check out our live stream every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. on our YouTube channel here. If you have that bell notification turned on, then you'll get notified when we go live, where we actually, if you do have one on order, we'll go through what vehicle lines are scheduling each week, what constraints are happening, so you can go to your local dealer and talk to them about it, as well as a topic each week and live Q&A right here where we can answer your questions on our live stream. So uh, check those out as well if you want to. Don't forget, you can find us on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And there's my Linktree account. If you want to connect with me, I'd love to connect with you and uh, and uh, and kind of learn a little bit more about each other as well and keep you updated on things going on as well if you follow me on different social media sites. So, again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, stay positive, be kind to each other, be kind to yourself, and we'll see you in the next video.